hi everyone welcome back to another remedy in today's video we are going to take care of our hair i know most of us we suffer from dandruff itchy scalp or you braided your hair and you carried it for a long time your hair is dry itchy and dandruff has entered on your scalp i have this remedy for you this re this remedy i used it on my daughter which i'm going to also show you in this video and this remedy works so so amazing works so wonderfully and it got rid of all my daughter's dandruff and the hair is now well moisturized so without talking much let's jump right into this video and to make this recipe the first ingredient we'll be needing here is ginger ginger is very good for the scalp ginger has antiseptic properties that can help in getting rid of dandruff Ginger also helps in fighting against scalp infection due to its antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. Ginger restores health to your scalp and also helps in dealing with itchy scalp and dandruff. Ginger is very good for hair. It also helps your hair to grow and it also grows your hair to be a thicker hair. So this is the quantity of ginger I'm using. Like you have seen me prepare the ginger, you have to peel it, wash it, and then cut into smaller sizes so that it can be blended properly. So I transfer into my blender. Next ingredient is onion. This is the size of onion I'm using. Like the size of your palm is not too big, it's not too small. Onion has antimicrobial and antifungal properties, which is why some natural health experts advocate that it is an infection treatment. That is to say that onion is a traditional remedy for treating dandruff and hair loss problems. It also stimulates the circulation of blood in the scalp and also helps in hair growth. And the next ingredient after onion is banana. Here I'm using one ripe banana. Banana contains silica, a mineral element that helps your body to synthesize collagen and make your hair stronger and thicker. Bananas also have antimicrobial properties that can heal flaky and dry scalp, relieving dandruff symptoms. And the next ingredient is aloe vera if you have fresh aloe vera that will be absolutely better but here i don't have fresh aloe vera so i'm using this aloe vera it is 90 percent of aloe vera aloe vera is very very good for the hair it has anti-inflammatory properties that help reduce scalp irritation it also has moisturizing effect it has enzyme and fatty acid content that may help reduce inflammation. It's packed with vitamin C, E, B12, folic acid, and choline content that may help nourish and strengthen the hair. And for the aloe vera, I am using two tablespoons of aloe vera. We cannot make this hair food without adding some oils. And the first oil I'm adding here is Jamaica black castor oil. This oil is packed with antibacterial and antifungal properties. Castor oil helps kill bacteria and treat scalp infection. It also helps to maintain the pH balance of your scalp. It is full of hair loving acid such as omega 9 fatty acid. And for the castor oil, I am adding one tablespoon. And the next oil that I added to it is extra virgin olive oil. I used extra virgin which is cold pressed. I think it's the best you need for your hair. It's also good for dandruff. It helps in reducing the dandruff and also adds shine to the scalp and the root of the hair. And for the olive oil, I added 3 tablespoons of olive oil. The next wonderful ingredient we have here is raw honey. Honey is great for hair growth and also getting rid of dandruff. A study shows that it helps in relieving from itchiness, scaling, 
and dandruff within two weeks. Honey is a scalp treatment that clean your scalp and alleviate conditions such as dandruff and dermatitis. It also has moisturizing benefits for both the hair and the scalp. And for the honey, I added one tablespoon of honey. So after adding everything into your blender, cover your blender and you blend. Blend smoothly. Keep on watching for I will be applying this on my daughter's hair because she just removed two months of buzz braids. So her hair is very dry, lots of dandruff, scaling. So keep on watching. I'm going to show you the hair before I, before I apply this hair mask to the hair. This is her hair after two months of not washing this hair. This hair is very dry, has a lot of flakes, dandruff, whatever name you call it. And this thing is itching her like crazy. She's always scratching her scalp. I said, no, 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 I have to do this hair food, hair mask. This will help to take care of this flakiness and dandruff and the dryness. So this is what her hair is looking like after I lose the buzz spray. And do you know dandruff makes hair to shed? Because her hair is already shedding, pulling from the roots. I was so mad when I saw it. I said, is this my daughter's hair? Her hair was not doing this before the buzz break. Just a matter of two months of not washing this hair, not treating the hair like I used to treat the hair. This hair, this hair turned to be this. It's not good to carry hair for a long time. Even my own, I have carried my own for a longer time and I'm going to do something about it whenever I lose it. So, this is the hair food. I'm going to apply it generously to the hair. As a matter of fact, I finished the whole mask inside this hair. So, continue watching and you will understand what I did. I made a mistake here. Before you add your banana, first of all, blend the onion and the ginger. After blending it, you strain it, squeeze out the juice. With the juice, you now add the banana. Because I blended it like this and used it for my daughter, the ginger and onion took me time to wash them out of her hair. So that is something I am correcting here. Don't blend the onion and the ginger together with the banana blend them separately get the juice and then use the juice to blend other things i hope i'm understood so i wouldn't want you to make the same mistake that i made i really forgot it when i was preparing this recipe so guys that's what i have come to share with you today if you find this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up share with your friends and families and if you have not yet subscribed don't don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification so that you will be notified for future videos and I will see you very soon in my next video. Don't forget to share with us on the comment section. We really want to read from you.